So I simply want to talk to the invisible athlete. And by that, I'm talking about the athlete that's not seen or spoken about, the ones that we're not hearing on the grapevine, the names that may not be popping up. Your story matters. You're just as important as the person at the top. You're just as important as those who are putting out their story. You're just as important, right? And so I hope that you never feel less than. I hope that you always know that you're seen. You know, when you have a group, your group sees your journey. They're able to know what you do in training. Your coach knows. If you don't have a group, if you don't have a coach, if you're somebody like me, for example, who self coach well, I'm discovering there's loads of athletes who are actually in that position. So you may feel invisible because you have no group, you have no coach. You may feel invisible because you're not at the top. You may feel invisible because you don't go on social media. Maybe you're injured and you're not able to get to the place where you've been in the past. I personally know how that feels and that's part of what I've been showing on my channel, right? So I just want to encourage you guys. First of all, I want to encourage you that your journey matters. You're just as important as the person who is seen, like I said, the person whose name is always spoken about. You're just as important as an Olympic champion, as a world champion. And so our sport what makes us put value on a person based on their ability or based on what they've achieved but achievements doesn't define you achievements doesn't make you more important than somebody else achieving those things are great and they're inspiring and they're encouraging but it doesn't mean that they're more important it doesn't mean that you're less important right so i really want to encourage you to know that your story is just as important if you haven't got someone in your life who's encouraging you like that then i'm encouraging you like that to tell you that your journey is just as important in 2017 i posted my first athletics vlog now when i posted that video i didn't have any intention really at all i just felt led to share my journey and a lot of it really was for myself now that journey began my youtube journey and since being on youtube i've come to discover a side of athletics that i didn't really see in my previous years for those of you that don't know me my name is Tarima thompson i am a british athlete so i live in the uk i live in london i had two years out of the sport two complete years out of the sport in 2014 and 2015 in 2016 i came back to the sport but i got injured straight away and then 2017 was my first competitive season so i had had four complete years without running my main event which is 100 meters and so when i started my youtube journey i was starting from scratch it was me starting again and my journey since coming back hasn't been as smooth sailing as i probably would have liked it to be and would have assumed that it may have been right if you've watched my vlog then you'll know what I'm talking about I share that journey that's what I've been sharing on YouTube so that's how I began YouTube and over the last couple of years I've started to make fit with tea videos as well where I share tips and tricks with regards to sprinting previously prior to that I had been a junior and an under 23 international for Great Britain so I had competed on the European circuit and I'd actually medaled for my country so coming back to athletic and beginning my YouTube journey I call myself an athlete tuber athlete youtuber right ever since I've been on YouTube I've been in a space of being the underdog something that I wasn't used to in my years prior to coming back to the sport prior to starting my youtube journey right but ever since i've been public ever since i've been sharing my journey it has been from a position of being the invisible athlete being not where i thought i would have been let's say 10 years ago but it's opened my eyes to see so many other athletes so many other stories when it comes to elite athletes and elite athletics that's really just the top of the iceberg there's so many athletes all the way from grassroots in the middle that make up the sport even those in a race for example where there's a winner at the olympics or there's a heats and there's a semis and there's quarterfinals there's qualifying rounds right so even the athletes in their nation who never made it out of their country to make it to a world championship or any type of international championship right so there's so many athletes at so many different levels and athletics truly is a worldwide sport and ever since doing youtube it's really opened my eyes to how big our sport really really is and how many different people are on this journey for different reasons and also who have a story to tell and who just want to feel like they're part of the community who just want to feel like their voice has also been heard and just to feel that their story their journey where they are currently is just as important as those who may be at the top right and that's what i wanted to encourage you guys with so i want to speak into a few things i want to speak into age i want to speak into talent and i want to speak into sharing your story so let's talk about age right i have a whole video talking about is it too late for you to start athletics what's the best age to start all of that jazz right but so often in athletics when it comes to commentators all they talk about is an athlete's age they're this young they're this old and they use age as if it determines what you can achieve or what you can't achieve right and over the years we've continued to see athletes break those barriers and so if you're someone who you're, maybe you're feeling like your age is a defining factor a limited factor an underdog factor or a reason that makes you invisible i want to encourage you whether you are super super young or whether you are super super old at any point you can actually inspire you can actually still achieve 
achieve and break barriers and you can actually still take it wherever you want to whether that is just for fitness whether that is all the way to an international championship where you can compete for your country all of those things are possible and I think a lot of people are unaware that it's possible so you may not have done sport as a young athlete you may not have done sport as a child but it doesn't mean that even now you can't take it up there's still competitive opportunity for you if that is something that you want to pursue so it really depends on what you want to pursue but just because you may not be the age that commentators say is the right age to peak the right age to do whatever things are still possible i hope that even in me sharing my journey you know i'm 34 years old now and even in this particular year i've run times that i hadn't been able to run for six even like 10 12 years whatever so hopefully that encourages you guys to know that age is not always a defining factor the way that it's always said to be so often in the world it's always like certain things are supposed to happen at a certain time and we all know life doesn't always go like that so as long as you are happy with what you're doing as long as you believe then it makes it possible as soon as you stop believing as soon as you give up as soon as you become very discouraged and lose hope that's when you're gonna not be able to see the thing that you want to but a lot of the time this sport does require perseverance but let's talk about talent right whilst there's a genetic factor involved when it comes to talent when it comes to say sprinting i'm a sprinter if you've watched my channel you know that i talk from a sprinter's perspective there's skill involved and skill is something that you can always develop so no matter what your genetic factor you can always get better at what you do you may have a limit as to whether you can be the next world record holder Older. not everyone's going to be that only one person is going to be that gold medalist in any given year in any given time right it doesn't mean you can't pursue it doesn't mean you can't work towards it but any goal you have you have to have a plan that goes towards that and so if you're seeing that maybe you're not going there you have to really figure out what needs to change what can I do to get there what can I do to take one step closer and maybe you may feel like time is running out then it may be a case of not throwing your dream down the drain but maybe just shifting your perspective a little bit maybe shifting what the bigger goal is and identifying what the bigger goal is because at the end of the day athletics is actually short-lived anyway in terms of being number one in the world even Usain Bolt at the moment is retired right there's a limit on that but when it comes to what the sport can give to you or what platform it can produce who you meet and all the other amazing things that can come from it there's so many so I don't want you to feel that because you're injured you maybe you're solo athlete you have no coach no team maybe because you are not where you want to be maybe all your friends you were with them and now suddenly they've all left you in terms of they've continued to push on and you haven't there maybe number of reasons and I've experienced pretty much all the things that I've just said right so I can talk into the underdog I think right I want to encourage you you're not less than your story still matters you still matter as much as that one fingerprint is unique on your finger that's how important you are i want to encourage you to keep pushing forward if this is something you enjoy something you want to do keep pushing forward know that even if you're thinking there's nobody i'm here i'm on your team right i'm on your team and i'm supporting you so i also want to encourage you to share your story you know social media is such a powerful tool maybe you don't want to go on social media and that's fine but if you are someone who uses social media then share your story don't watch the numbers just share because at the end of the day be yourself you'll be so surprised how many people you can inspire right where you are right now right your journey your perspective the things you've experienced in life the things you're going through even the races that you lose the races that you win all of it can be inspiration can be encouragement can also help other people who are maybe going through exactly the same thing of you they can relate to you right so as a way that people may be able to relate to you that they may not be able to relate to the number one person in the world right so sharing your journey if you want to share your journey i want to encourage you maybe you're someone who's been thinking about it and this is an encouragement for you to share your journey and if you're someone who doesn't want to share your journey then maybe just you just enjoy watching other people who are in a similar place to you right it's great to watch people who are at the top and to feel inspired and have something to look for we also need those people who are on like a similar level to us or maybe just a little bit above us or who are in the same position who can also understand what we're going through who can also encourage us right where we are and see our value even when we're on the journey to where we want to get to i want to encourage you not to give up maybe you're feeling like you're never going to achieve your goal you're never going to achieve your dream and there's so many more opportunities in athletics beyond what you think as the obvious such as being a goal medalist at the olympic of the world and so that can be your dream and i don't want you to stop pursuing that dream if that is something that you really desire of course you have to be realistic in your goals you have to be able to hit milestones but just because you may have not achieved something by a certain time within a time frame doesn't mean that you can't be successful doesn't mean that you can't still enjoy and find fulfillment in what you do through the sport as well so i've got a video over here that talks about other ways that you can be successful in athletics outside of the norm that we think about and i've also got this video over here where i talk about age so if you haven't seen those videos i encourage you to check those out next and i'll see you guys on another friday bye guys